Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Veteran Gamer here bringing you my daily gaming video inside Forza 4. Uh, this is going to be a new series that I start and starting off the series, the first video that I'll put up is this one, which will be my car garage inside Forza 4. I've had this game for quite a while now and I've accumulated some pretty rare and unique vehicles within it. So I'd like to show them off and show you to you guys. Uh, but th to start, this is just what it popped up on the screen when I loaded up the game. It is a 1994 Ferrari F355 Burt Linetti. It's pretty cool, pretty beautiful car. Um, very gorgeous. It costs 75,000 career points in the game. Very nice car. Okay, so I guess to start off, oopsies, press the wrong button. I will show you guys my garage value, which I think is in the 6 million range. Yep, there it is. 6,835,575 career credits um percentage of the career complete 2.6 percent i currently have 45 cars in my garage i've probably had more overall but i'm a level 28 top gear co-host i like that so anyway let's get started so here we are in my garage here's the ferrari 1994 f355 burton linetti to start it off because that's the car i'm sitting in currently Directly to my right, that's the way we're going to go, is the Kia Seed. You got to have this car because you got to take a t t spin in the Top Gear test track. And that's the car they use um, in the show. So that's why I own that. Uh, the 2011 Nissan Micro. 2011 Suzuki SX4 Sportback. These are just, you know, the cars you pick up throughout the game. You don't really drive them. I don't drive them, at least. 1994 Nissan 240 SX. SC and E car class that I do drive actually I do drive this in E races it's a pretty fast E car then you got your 1973 BMW 2002 turbo very nice looking car with a nice paint job I think that is the actual paint job of the car I did not put that on myself then we got a gift car for playing Forza 3 you can see the gift icon in the top left corner of the icon screen on the car it is the 2010 Fiat Abarth 500 SCSC. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's that. I don't really use it, as you can see. Then you got a car I actually really enjoy using the 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Very nice looking car. Fords are actually really nice looking cars in, this, in general. Uh, moving on, we got a Pontiac, a 1965 GTO, the infamous GTO Pontiac, almost used in a lot of movies. So there's that. Everyone knows the Pontiac GTO. And you got a Ford 1970 Mustang Boss 429. Also very popular car among Americans. A 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS-454. It's a very nice looking car. Driven by Vin Diesel in uh, Fast and Furious franchise. 1992 Nissan Silvia Club K's. I don't drive it. Ah, oh, here we go, a classic Shelby, a 1969 Shelby GT500 428CJ, very nice looking car, 2011 Citroen DS3, a 2004 Mercedes-Benz C32 AMG, it's an old one, the, the new C300 looks so much better than that, I prefer the C300 over this one any day of the week, then we got a 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec-R, Nothing special here. Ah, a Plymouth. And not just any Plymouth. The 1971 Plymouth Cuda 426 Hemi. Man, this car is gorgeous. Especially with a purple and black paint job. Or a lime green and a black paint job. Oh, absolutely outstanding. Ah, a 1992 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. A very nice rally car. Popular among rally goers. Yes, the first of my many Ferraris. In case you haven't picked up in the video, I'm a massive Ferrari fan. Uh, I even ordered a 2012 Ferrari 428 Italia racing wheel to go along with my gaming collection. So you'll be seeing an unboxing of that, I'd say, in the next month, maybe. Definitely before September 3rd, because uh, that's when school starts. I'll have it by then. Oh, I didn't even read the card. My apologies. This is a 1968 Ferrari 365 GTB-4 driven by, uh, I forget who it was, I think it was either Jeremy Clarkson or James May in one of the Top Gear episodes where they were racing a boat. Very nice looking car. I even painted it to the um, one in the episode because I'm such a huge fan. 
Moving on to a much less exciting car, a 2010 Mazda Mazda Speed 3. Ah, my friend drives this one. 2009 Audi Q7 V12 TDI, except it's not a V12. He does not drive a V12. Absolutely not. Ah, one of my favorite Mercedes that they ever produced, a 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5-16 Evolution 2. Very, very nice looking Mercedes. Uh, very popular just in general. I really like the Another gift car, a 2009 Ford Focus RS. Ah, I'm also a pretty big Maserati fan, and this is my pride in joining the Maserati collection. It is a 2011 Maserati Quattro Porte Sport GTS. It's a four-door Maserati. It goes for about $80,000 you use these days, so I would really like to pick one up when I uh, get older. It's my dream car probably next to the Fer Ferrari 458 Italia. A 2010 Chevrolet Camaro SS, also known as Bumblebee. Ah, my friend drives this one. 2003 BMW M5. Nothing special. That's right. It's nothing special. And we got a 2004 uh, Opel Speedster Turbo. Nah, I don't like Opals. Here's where the fun begins. You got a two 1997 Nissan Skyline GT-R V-Spec. Yeah, the next, uh, the 2003 Nissan Skyline is a lot better. Uh, actually, I think it's the 1998 one driven by Brian in the Fast and Furious franchises. I can't quite remember what um, what year it was, but it's not this model. Oh, another favorite car of mine, a 2008 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Oh, God, this car is beautiful in almost any color it goes, and blue is my absolute favorite. I haven't managed to find one in real life that is not manual. I'd like to pick one up that's not manual because I cannot drive manual for my life. Um, but uh, if I want to find one that's automatic, I will definitely might buy it. I really like this car. Um, it's also driven by Brian in the Fast and Furious 4 movie at the end. So it's a very nice car. Uh, God, 2010 Honda Mugan, M Mugen Civic Type R 3D. Nothing special at all. Ah, yes, a 2010 Ford Shelby GT500. This car is beautiful and it's a B class car, so you can just destroy the competition with it. Not many good B class cars that could just keep up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably, again, definitely top five because of one person and one person only James Bond's 2008 Aston Martin DBS that was used in Quantum of Solace, Casino Royale, and Skyfall. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't seen Skyfall in a while. Now that I think about it, I don't even think there's a DBS in there. I know there's a DB5, but I can't think of it as a DBS. I can't remember. It's definitely in the first two movies, though. Great car. I actually have to repaint it because it does not look like anything at all out of the James Bond franchise. I'll probably download a uh, uh, skin pack for it. Moving on, this is 2008 BMW M3. Again, nothing special. I, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of BMWs. I never was. They're nice cars. They are nice cars, but I, I just, they just don't win me over. Not like a Mercedes does. 2010 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG. Again, a very, very nice looking car. It's beautiful. Then you got a very nice and rare car that I haven't seen on the streets here in America. Obviously, I think they're more in um, the European countries, but it's a 2010 Spyker C8 Laviolette L LM85. A class car, not not a very good competition. Moving on to the 2010 Mercedes Benz E63 AMG, another beautiful looking Mercedes. And of course, you got your 2010 Jaguar XFR, driven by Jeremy Clarkson to beat the sun, beat God Almighty himself, and he did it. Sorry, that's a spoiler. Also driven by Daniel Craig in, uh, uh, sorry, can't think of the movie Skyfall. It is driven by Daniel Craig in Skyfall to uh, kidnap M. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my number four car that I've wanted to drive for quite a while, the 2004 Ferrari F430. This was, uh, in fact, uh, for a long time, my dream car until the 458 came out and absolutely destroyed it in its tracks. Uh, I actually want to take a look at this car. Now, how do I do that? Oh, view car, there we go. This car was made popular at the end of National Treasure 1. That that when I saw that movie, 
this car and this car was in it it was absolutely magnificent i think they had the um roofless version of this but this car is absolutely magnificent how do i zoom in can't zoom in but there you go it's quite the looker moving on the 1988 Lamborghini Countach LP5000 QV. Uh, this was driven in the movie The Wolf of Wall Street by... Uh, I forget the main character's name. I'm just going to call him Leonardo DiCaprio because that's him. By Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, he did crash this car, unfortunately, uh, when he, quote-unquote, thought he drank home. Drank home. Drove home okay. But he, in fact, didn't. Very, very nice car. Very popular in the 1980s. Moving on, another gift car that I don't really quite use, the 2010 Audi R8 5.2 FSI Quattro. Not much to say, very, very popular R8 model. Moving on to the 2010 Aston Martin V12 Vantage. Uh, excuse me, where are my manners? And again, another car uh, built by Aston Martin that didn't really turn any heads, for, especially for me. I didn't think it was as popular as the DBS model, but then the DBS model is two years younger, so two years older, I should say, so very nice. Moving on, we have the 2009 BMW number 92 Rahal Letterman Racing M3 GT2. So it's basically an M3 that is fitted with extreme electronics, and um, it's an R3 class, so it should be quite fast and quite competitive. It's it's a it's not not a rally car. It's a touring car. They should be fast and competitive. The 2009 Bugatti Veyron 16.4 has a speed of 10. That's right, 10. I don't know. I've never been a big fan of Bugatti, so I'm not sure what else to say about this car. I got it as a gift and never used it. That's that's about me. Then we got the 2010 Ferrari 458 Italia with a Vodafone. Vodafone uh, paint job scheme. I'll show you guys that right now. After it loads for about an hour. Ah, here we go. There it is. This is. I bought this twice, I think. One for the actual look. I think I have it. I'm not sure. We have to go back and check. This might be my only, my only 458, and I might have to switch it back to the regular paint job if it is. But that's what that looks like. This is the one I use when I go to R3 Racings. And last but not least, the 2006 Aston Martin number... Oh, 007, obviously. Aston Martin Racing DBR9. Another great looking car that I do race in R2 races. It is my fastest... Not fastest, but uh, like most balanced car that I do use in R2. I haven't really customized it that much. I normally leave everything stock. But let me go back and check if I do have a... Nope, I don't have a Ferrari. So anyway, I will be switching that back. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, like, favorite, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on whatever I make next. Thank you and have a great day.